Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am filming my very last video of 2018. I honestly can't believe it. I know I say this like literally every year, but I can't believe that this year is already over. I'm kind of glad it's over. This year has been a lot. It hasn't been the worst year, but it's definitely been a lot. And I feel like this year has just like overwhelmed me enough and I'm ready for a new year. I want to say that this year flew by but I honestly feel like this year dragged on. Except for these last couple months that kind of really flew by but I feel like this this year just really felt so long. Obviously this is gonna be my favorite products of 2018 but before I get into it I just want to say thank you guys so much for literally everything. I honestly can't thank you guys enough for your support and the love that you guys give me. Literally every single day. I just love you guys so much and I know that this video is going to be super long so uh, let's just go ahead and get into it. Today is the very last, well when this goes up, it's going to be the very last day of December so um, I hope you guys had a good Christmas. I haven't filmed in like two weeks so um, I hope you guys had a great Christmas or whatever holiday you guys celebrate or just spent time with your loved ones, family, friends, whoever. Um, also my hair is short. I haven't filmed since I got my hair done so um, I'm the launder now. So, okay, enough of me rambling. Let me get my phone. I have my list of things that I'm going to be talking about. I categorize them with eyes, face, and lips. Talking about eye products first. This is palettes or anything having to do with the eyes. I feel like this was my favorite palette of 2018. I just feel like this palette really was different and was just something that I honestly reached for the most um, out of every other palette that I had this year. So that is the Melt Gemini palette. It's what I have on my eyes right now. I'm pretty much wearing everything that I'm going to be talking about. So this is the Melt Gemini palette and I love this palette so much. It's honestly so different than like any other neutral palette that I have. I wear a lot of like reds and burgundy pinkish tones but I also wear a lot of like neutrals on a day-to-day -day basis but this is just like a different kind of neutral palette it also has those greens like those poopy pukey green colors that I love and honestly this palette is just like so different and I love it so much I used it so much this year it's like the perfect everyday grungy kind of palette. I love this palette and I can't talk about it enough because it's just so good. Like these next two palettes are not going to be a surprise. Um, and that is the Ace Beauty palette. All of them, but these two in particular, the Blossom Passion palette, which is the one full of pinks and reds. I use this palette a ton ever since I got it. When it comes to like everyday makeup, I feel like these two are the palettes that I reach for the most out of all my other palettes and then I also really loved the classical paradise palette as well it had all these like reddish and more like yellow and orangey tone I just love their palettes and I feel like they really did something different when every other brand was doing neutrals or like a neutral with a pop of blue and like things like that and they just kind of came out with all those palettes, the four palettes, which is the pink one, that one. Um, they had the purple one and then the Slice of Paradise, which I have, but it's kind of like thrown in there. But that one was more like the rainbow one, really just stuck out to me this year because they were like, they gave us what we were all asking for. Palette, I have a lot of palettes, I'm sorry. <laughs> the next palette was uh, another palette that I used a ton as well. This is the Carity 21 Matte Palette. It has all the colorful shadows in here. And I felt like this year we did have a couple palettes that did come out with a lot of colorful shadows. And this was one that I just reached for the most. I just really like this pink in here. And I liked the purples. This really came in handy during Halloween time as well. Um, the red in here is really nice. I like the black. It had the green. I just it has everything that I would need it's so really affordable too. I think this is $24 It's like 21 to $24. I can't remember but I do have a discount code with them I will leave that down below it's a palette that I honestly didn't think I was gonna Use as much as I did and I remember even when I got it sent to me they were like, oh I challenge you to use this palette and that is the Milani soft and sultry palette This was more of the cool toned neutral palette this palette is so good and for those of you that don't really like warm tones and kind of look for more cool tones this definitely has those cool tones in there metallics in here are super bomb i have um a tutorial using this palette and i also did a tutorial on their instagram stories the other day using this palette and milani 
has really just I've always really liked Milani they've always been one of my favorite drugstore brands but this year I feel like they really have a special place in my heart because I have so many favorites I didn't put them in here because I don't want to like overkill Milani in this video but they're, they have so many good products. Like, honestly, I think they're one of the best drugstore makeup that you could actually get, like, at the drugstore. Because I consider ColourPop kind of drugstore-ish, too, like, uh, pricing-wise. But this one, you could actually go to, like, Target, Walmart, whatever, and go pick it up. And this palette is really good. They're definitely my favorite palettes of the year. Um, I also have another palette, but I literally can't find it anywhere. But that was the Models Own Barely There 2 palette, I think is the name of it. And I use that palette a lot too. I also think that's another really good drugstore neutral palette. It, I don't know why more people don't talk about that palette because for being like, I think it was $10 and at like the drugstore and stuff, it was really good. And I reached for that a lot in the beginning of the year. It was kind of just like my go-to, like throw some colors in the crease and go. Um, but I can't find it anywhere. I literally was like looking all over. I'm pretty sure I'll probably find it after this video. Next thing I'm to talk about is this baby right here. And this is the NYX pigment primer. This was like such a standout product for me. This is so freaking good um if you have hooded lids and you have a lot of problems with like shadows transferring into your crease especially like shimmer shades all over the lid this will be your best friend this literally just has those shimmers stick to it, it doesn't transfer and i think this was so good and definitely a standout product for me in 2018 the eyes is actually a new favorite but i'm definitely going to include it in this video because it's that good. Um, it, towards the end of the year, I really just wanted to stop wearing lashes, which it didn't really last that long, but I still like wear lashes less frequently than I would before. And I just was really trying to find like good mascaras because I could never find really mascaras that made my lashes look as good as like if I was wearing fake eyelashes, which even mascara, it's not going to look as good as like wearing falsies, but this mascara changed my life. This is the LC Lash Full Mascara. I just got this like a couple months ago, but I'm going to include it anyway because it's that good. This like mascara will make your lashes so long, not clumpy. It's super black. It's so good. And because of this mascara, I have been using lashes or fake eyelashes less because I don't really feel like I need to. This just is such a good mascara and you all need it. Last thing I'm going to talk about are lashes. The lashes that I wore the most this year were Makeup Shack Kehlani lashes. These lashes are literally so beautiful. I love these. I think this is my last pair that I have unless I have more somewhere else. But I wore these lashes a shit ton. They're so good. They look so good on my eye shape. I love those like very... These remind me of Goddesses from Coco Lashes. But I got... Don't really wear those ones anymore because I have these ones and these ones are a little bit f like wispier I feel like a little bit but and not as like spiky as goddesses were but these are just so good and they definitely were my favorite out of the entire year. Also wanted to mention these lashes right here that I'm wearing as a little honorable mention because I just started wearing these like recently um but I actually like all of the lashes in this line. These are from Araceli Beauty and these ones are the Chewy Lashes but all three, she has three styles of lashes. All three are my favorite and I wore all three of them so much since they came out and I just love these ones so much. They're just so pretty so those were definitely my favorite. So the next like category I'm going to do is face and I feel like this next product is kind of in between like face and eyes I include it in this section kind of in between and this is probably my favorite product that I found in the entire year and this is the hourglass arch brow pencil this just changed my eyebrow game completely it went a little bit softer and more natural and kind of for that more bushy brow look and I feel like my eyebrows look the best they've ever looked and it's because of this pencil right here. This is what I've been using pretty much all year since I got it. You guys always ask me how my brows look so good, what I'm doing to my brows. It's this pencil. I don't know what it does or what is in it but it makes my brows look fantastic. Now it's a little bit pricey. Hourglass is really expensive but it's so worth it. I bought, I think this is my third or 
third one I think now um, but they honestly last a long time I don't know I felt like before I was going through like brow pencils once a month and this one lasts me quite a bit I think it lasts me like a good like four or five months definitely probably my favorite product this year next thing in my face category is foundation for the beginning of the year I think I was still using the Fenty foundation um which I still love that foundation, but I just feel like this foundation really stuck out to me, which is really weird because I remember when this foundation first came out and I didn't like it, like, at all. I did not like it, but that's why I always say, like, you gotta try things again because sometimes what you might have not liked before, you might like now, and that is definitely this foundation. And this is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. This foundation is so beautiful it's what I have on right now I've been wearing the last like I don't even know like five months I don't remember when I started using this again but it is just beautiful like the way it sits on my face it just makes my face look flawless um it doesn't sit weird on my face it really lasts forever on my face and I just love it I mix two shades creamy natural and natural but when I'm a little bit more tan I just use natural. Mine look busted. You see how dirty these look? Yikes. Um, yeah, but these are just so good. I feel like these face, I feel like this was the year that I really just stuck to the face products that worked the best for me because I feel like I didn't really change these out. So I feel like all of these products won't be a surprise, but the Sunkiss Butter Bronzer is my everything. I used the regular butter bronzer for probably all last year. It is definitely my favorite, but when this one came out, I don't know what it is about this one. I think it's just a little bit warmer, and I love this one 10 times more than the regular butter bronzer. It is just so perfect. There's like no better bronzers, honestly, and these are drugstore. They are definitely a little bit more pricey for the drugstore. I think they're like $14, but still, these are amazing. I just, I can't live without this. I use this pretty much every day even when I'm not really wearing makeup like if I'm just trying to leave the house I'll just put some concealer on put this bronzer on and leave because you don't really need anything else next product it's what I have on my face right now this definitely changed the game I really don't think there is a better highlighter out there actually I have found a dupe but I still think that this is the OG the way it just sits on my skin the way it doesn't leave that like weird cast on your face when you wear like a highlighter or something. It is perfect. The way it looks in sunlight is magnificent. And that is the Anastasia and Almrizi highlighter. It's just so beautiful. I can't believe I haven't made like a bigger dip in this highlighter because at one point I was using it like every single day. This is just like the best highlighter ever. Everyone used this highlighter. I felt like there was some people that didn't like it, but for the majority, I feel like most people did like it. While the Omrezy highlighter was definitely, I think, the best highlighter that came out this year, I did find a dupe for it and this was not like my finding either, like somebody else posted it. If I remember, I will link their page down below. Um, but they had actually post watches of it being a dupe and it definitely is, and I think towards the end of the year, I didn't want to really waste my Omrezy one, so I was like, I'll use this one, and I actually kind of like this one just as much, if not even a little bit more, just because I feel like it's a little bit more intense than the Omrezy one, but I still love the Omrezy one, but this is the Pixie Subtle Sunrise um, Glowy Gossamer Duo, and specifically this side, both, they have like, I think two or three of these, little duos but um I like all of them they're all really good and but this one is specifically is like a dupe for the Omrezy highlighter and it's so good it's so intense and this is what I have been wearing for like the last couple months um but again like I think throughout the year I definitely wore the Omrezy one more this was a recent find um they actually sent it to me and I I had forgotten about it and I saw that post and I was like wow I'm gonna try it and sure enough it was a dupe and I think it's very good definitely one of the best drugstore highlighters um and then the last highlighter i'm going to talk about is this one right here this is no, my stuff is gonna fall this is the persona zuma highlighter this was such a good highlighter too like it is so beautiful on the skin and it's so intense and this one's a little bit i feel like i can wear this one a little bit more when i'm tan because it's definitely a little bit more gold 
but it is so beautiful and I love pretty much everything from Persona. Um, I think all the products are so good and that was definitely another one of my favorite highlighters. I just wanted to mention one more thing for the face too. This is the Ivorian Extra Matte Primer. I have used this primer so much this year. I just love the way it like makes my skin look the way like foundation sit on top of it I think it's so good I just wanted to throw this in there because I mean there's not too much to say about primers it does make my makeup last a long time it does keep me matte and um I love it I mentioned too that everything that I put in my 2017 favorites I still use till this day I think like pretty much every single product in there I was going to mention the Urban Decay Relish eyeshadow and the Alkaline Eyeliner, and I realized I put that in my favorites last year too, so I didn't put it in this one, but I still use those products every single day almost on <laughs> two lips, and I feel like every year I have a ton of lip products. With the lip product that I think I like was my favorite lip color of the entire year, and it's what I'm wearing on my lips right now, I actually got this in a boxy charm, and this is the Ofra Verona liquid lipstick. I've always been a huge fan of Ofra liquid lipsticks. I think they're really good. Um, I kind of stopped using them for a little bit. I don't know why because I was always a really huge fan of their formula. But this color is just so perfect. It is like one of my favorite neutral nude colors. It's not like super nude. It's definitely a little bit darker for like a nude but you guys know that I don't really like nude nude lipsticks and this is like perfect. There's so much ever since I got it in that boxy charm. I don't really I don't feel like I posted about it a lot because I don't post things that I end up wearing like every day for like an everyday look or whatever. But I wore this lipstick so much. When I just didn't know what lipstick to wear, I would just grab that and put it on. Same for the next lipstick that I'm going to talk about. This actually came out last year, but it came out like right after Christmas, so I'm going to include it in this year's favorites because I definitely wore it from literally the first day of the year to like the other day. So I literally wore this lipstick literally all year. And this is the Fenty Beauty PMS lipstick, the Mademoiselle lipsticks. It is a dark reddish brown and I love this lipstick. It is perfect. It is like the perfect dark brown red ish lipstick and I literally wore this all year long. It was my favorite dark lipstick that I owned throughout the year and it is just so good. I love the formula of the Mademoiselle lipsticks. I know they just came out with like a bunch more. I haven't picked any of those up yet but I want to pick up a few of them. I also have this lipstick that I wore a ton as well and that is the Smashbox Tar Pit Liquid Lipstick. This is the best black liquid lipstick I have ever used in my entire life. I have tried so many black lipsticks. I've been wearing black lipstick since I was in high school <laughs> and it has taken me since I was like 15. So 15 to I'm almost 24. Almost 10 years, like nine years to find like the perfect black liquid lipstick and this is it. Um, I remember like a long time ago I used to use black velvet. I think that was the name of it from Lime Crime. Also Stiletto, but Stiletto was the regular creamy lipstick so it was like shiny. And then black velvet would always like give me butthole lips and I've tried so many black lipsticks in the past and none of them compared to this one. The formula of the Smashbox liquid lipsticks are incredible anyway but this one is so black. It's so pigmented. It doesn't get gross on your lips like a lot of black lipsticks do. It's not shiny but it's still so comfortable and it is so good and as someone who wears black lipstick often and if you wear a lot of black lipstick as well then you know that it's so hard to find a good black liquid lipstick you are in the on the hunt for a good black liquid lipstick that is it next two lipsticks I'm gonna talk about are a little bit newer they just came out but I've worn them a ton since they did come out and these are the Fenty Stunna lip paints in uncuffed and unveil this is the perfect mauvey dusty rosy color formula of the Senna lip paints are so comfortable they're so good and then unveil was just like that perfect brown um pms is definitely darker unveil it's just a little bit more neutral it's not super warm but it's also not cool tone brown either it's perfect like i said those ones just kind of came out a couple months ago but ever since they came out i have been using them so much so lipstick that i'm going to talk about um I actually can't find which I'm very upset about I know it's in like one of my backpacks somewhere 
I have so many lipsticks in my backpacks that like I just can't find them. Um, so I'm going to show this one because it kind of looks similar to it. But this is the Time Los Angeles. This one is Velvet Rouge, which is also a beautiful color. But my favorite one is Looking Cute, Feeling Cute. And I wore that one so much. I will put a picture of it somewhere on here or like me wearing it or something. It is perfect. I love colors like that and it just goes with so many of the looks that I wear all the time. Time Los Angeles formula is amazing. If you guys don't know, Time Los Angeles, I've said this before, is my friend Ashley's brand. You guys literally need to go buy everything because her product, she puts her heart and soul into her brand and she deserves so much recognition for her brand because she has such good products and I just love all of her products but definitely like I love her liquid lipsticks the most I think. Those are the ones that I wear. She has lashes and she just came out with the highlight palette, which I have talked about and I think that is incredible. Um, but her liquid lipsticks are just so good and looking cute, feeling cute was definitely one that I kept in my backpack at all times, which is probably why I can't find it right now. I also want to just mention this really quick because I wasn't going to because it is discontinued, but I wore this one a ton as well and I hope that if ColourPop watches this video, they'll bring it back. Please, ColourPop, please bring this freaking lipstick back. It is stud. I don't even know if this was even like a matte or a satin because the stupid thing rubbed off. I don't know, but it is so good. It's like one of my favorite lipsticks of all time and they discontinued it and I'm very sad about it. Please ColourPop bring it back. Last but not least, we have one gloss for so much as well and I still use Aquarius. That was in my last favorites video. Aquarius is still in my backpack at all times, but since I already talked about that, I wanted to talk about neat freak and um <laughs> again i used it so much that i can't find it now which is so fucking annoying but whatever it was one of the glosses that shayla and ColourPop collabed on and it is so beautiful um like i said i can't find it right now but also drippin was another one that i used a ton which is also shayla's lip gloss so i wanted to include like one of them in here but this is just like the perfect like i don't know it's such, it's such a pretty gloss. It has like sh gold shimmer in it, which I love in a lip gloss. And I can wear this with like a bunch of different lip liners. I'll just like line my lips and kind of fill it in a little bit with it and just put that over and that is a look. And I love it. I wore this gloss um, ever since it came out. I just keep it in my backpack. Same with Neat Freak if I freaking find it. I think I know what backpack it's in, but I like it's in the other room but both of those lip glosses I wore so much as well as Aquarius. Aquarius will always be my favorite gloss ever. Now last but not least the Makeup Shack sponge. This is the best sponge ever. It is better than a beauty blender and it's better than any other blending sponges that I have tried. I pulled out a new one because mine is a little dirty because I just used it but it is so good. It is so affordable. I think it's like five dollars. I can't remember how much it is but it is so good and it's literally all I use now. I can't use anything else. I have so many backups because I love it that much. It is so soft. It's not hard. It is a little bit bigger than like a normal beauty blender I would say. Like so it's a little bit, it has powder all over it and stuff. But it is just amazing. I needed to include that in my favorites because it is definitely one of my favorite products ever. Yeah, that is pretty much it. I'm probably forgetting so many things. Okay, I knew I was gonna forget something and sure enough I forgot the Maybelline lipstick in the shade Spicy Mauve. It's literally the best lipstick ever. It's the lipstick that I wore on an everyday basis. It's like the lipstick that I wore to work every single day pretty much and it's so comfortable. It is so beautiful and I just ran out of it which is probably why I forgot to include it in the video in the first place and it's been sold out at every single store that I go to so I'm out of it right now but I could not not include it in this video because I literally wore it every single day and it's the best. If you guys haven't tried those like shine lipsticks from Maybelline, they're seriously so good and I highly recommend them. These were my favorite products of the year. They're definitely products that stood out to me the most and I just love all these products so much. I highly recommend all of them. We'll link everything down below. I will put discount codes next to the products if I do have discount codes for them. So, um... Make sure to check the description box for that. I believe it's the end of the year. 2018 is over. Kind of happy about that because I was just really over this year. This year was a lot. It was just a lot. So I know I mentioned this earlier, but I just want to say it again. Thank you all for literally everything this year. All your love, all your support. It never goes unnoticed. You guys don't even know how much your DMs, our messages, and tweets, and everything mean to me. 
especially when there's so much stuff going on pretty much all the time in my life that I don't really talk about those like messages and stuff literally just like make my day and you guys probably don't even know it and just like the love and support that you guys show me all the time it really does mean so much to me and I feel like I I feel like I say this all the time but I truly have like the best supporters in the entire world you guys are just so understanding and so full of love and just so nice to me all the time and whether I'm going through something and I can't film, you guys always under like are so understanding and always are the first people to tell me like, take a break, you need to take a break, like, don't worry about us, take care of yourself first and it just, it means so much to me and I love you guys so much. I don't know where I would be without you guys. Obviously, this is my job so you guys allow me to be where I am and I can't, I can't thank you guys enough. So, you guys have a very safe and fun New Year's Eve um, and New Year's Day, whatever you're doing. Excited to see what 2019 has in store for all of us. So um, yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and thank you guys for always watching and sticking around. I love you all so much. I will see you guys in 2019. Bye.